You know, sometimes it's not what happens, it's how you respond that matters. An idea that was beautifully captured this weekend by the attack on Rary Capital. 2,600 ETH, or about $10 million, lifted. As ever, it was Twitter that broke the news of the hack, with eagle-eyed observers spotting this transaction draining the Rary ETH pool. And as always, we have Igor Igamberdiev, or Frank Researcher, as he goes by on Twitter, to thank for the forensics. From his analysis, it became clear that the attacker had already raided Value DeFi by exploiting Alpaca Finance, all on Binance Smart Chain. But he had then used the proceeds from that attack to fund the attack on Rary, giving us, as Recht so delightfully put it, a cross-chain killer. Now, this was an evil contract exploit in which an attacker tricks a contract into thinking a hostile contract should have access or permissions. Now, if you remember the evil pickle jars exploit from last year, check this video for a quick refresher if you do not. Now, at its simplest, Rary is a yield aggregator like Yen, and that comparison is where this story gets a little murkier, because we actually ran a story on Rary last week, which included a line about Yen Finance falling victim to competitors copying their strategies, which then got picked up by my old nemesis, Blue Kirby, and broadcast to his loyal followers. And somehow, we entered a beef situation when I think it's pretty clear there wasn't really one there at all but Twitter loves a story. And the narrative was strengthened when the attacker left a base64 encoded message, which does look like a string of alphanumerics, but when you decode it, the taunt is clear. Rary equals wrecked, alpha equals okay, hashtag saved Rary six minutes, something like that. But thanks to Banteg for the spot on that one. And if we scroll down, we get another pope from Banteg, and the hacker is probably over 25. Ouch. But as always, this ageist thing is just a facile narrative that keeps things spicy on Twitter. The truth is that a war room was convened that brought together Banteg, Emiliano Bonassi, and others in a cross-protocol collaboration that in the words of Rary CEO Jai Bhavnani, was heartwarming to witness. Now, Rary didn't raise a buttload of capital to get started. They launched as a fair launch project, so making investors whole is going to be a bit of a fiddle. However, they have now announced a plan for the protocol's contributors to return the 2 million RGT tokens that were originally allocated as developer incentives to the Rary DAO to reimburse anyone infected by the hack. Now, as ever, it's easy for us to sneer at kids stirring things up, but us old dogs do need kicking sometimes. So, you know, hard lessons for sure, but it only makes things stronger. But if there is a lesson here for projects, it is this. Never, ever assume that you are safe plan for the inevitable moment you get shanked, because make no mistake, it is going to happen. That was today's quick take. Don't forget to dial up our Telegram channel for all the latest updates, or head on over to thedefined.io so you don't miss out on stories like the one that appears to have stirred up this particular pot of spiciness. Have a great Monday. I'll see you on the next one. Peace!